What's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Andrew Rowe. I'm currently a security software engineer in Boulder, Colorado, working in more of a cloud engineering capacity. In my last video regarding the CDK, I kind of introduced you guys to a new high-level technology um, in the cloud, specifically AWS, but I'm sure Azure has one that's pretty comparable. But one thing I didn't really explain very well was the actual you know, basics of the CDK in terms of how it uses these things called stacks. And stacks are essentially you know, different files in which you can commit different code to memory of CloudFormation, um, thus kind of inhibiting you to build various solutions really linearly across your entire environment, but also very parsed out at the same time. So I hope in this video I can explain that to you guys a little better. As always, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and join the Discord, and I'll see you in the next one. So in the first episode, I went a bit too far in explaining the meat of the tooling without actually explaining the proper workflow of the tooling. And I especially didn't explain stacks in the CDK context as well as I should have. Now you may have remembered that I showed you guys that stacks are the name of the files that the CDK creates, but what you may not know is that the actual functionality of a stack and the reason they're so useful is that you can parse out your infrastructure that is designated for specific tasks or solutions. Now you could have, like we have in the example here, an S3 bucket that needs to talk to, you know, um, SES, which is an email service or Amazon, and, and don't really worry about the resource names. I'm going to explain them all over the course of this video series. But what the concept you guys really need to get is the parsing of infrastructure. So you could have one solution here that's an S3 bucket that needs to talk to an email service, and say you have another solution that's a Lambda, which is essentially a serverless function. Um, a serverless application uh, resource that AWS creates, you could have a Lambda that needs to talk to another S3 bucket. Now, if you're in the cloud engineering field or the DevOps field, you're not going to want to put those both in the same resource stack or the same you know, infrastructure uh, as code solution um, file. You're going to want to parse those solutions out. And that's one thing that the CDK is really, really great at showing. Now, if I was to do this and give you guys kind of an example, see how in my lib folder here, I have the CDK project stack, which is the one from last time that I showed you guys. And I created a new stack called the test stack. And the only way that you can create one of these stacks is by going to the bin folder, which is essentially your parent class, and creating a new stack here. So if I was to do this over again, essentially what I would do is I would say new test stack, and then I would pass it uh, test stack, oops, sorry. I would pass it app, and then uh, test stack, right? And then I would create that full or that same file in the lib folder here as I did. And then I would essentially export it. See how it says uh, export class test stack back to and extends the CDK stack. So it's essentially taking a subclass and exporting it back to the parent class, which then lives in the bin folder here. So the only way I imported it is I just did a simple import and then I gave the path of the actual file. So now the actual CDK itself sees these as two separate stacks or you know, another way to put it is two separate classes or subclasses, but we're going to call them stacks for the sake of this. And if I wanted to see them in my deployment model that I showed you guys in the previous video, all I would do is do a CDK list. And if all works out, it should deploy or should show these two separate stacks. Now, I'm not, I don't want to skip ahead too far, but if I was to deploy uh, one of these projects, it would be as easy as, you know, copy and pasting the actual stack and then doing a CDK deploy and adding the stack there. So you can see right off the top that you're able to you know, parse out your solutions here and you can create multiple stacks. I mean, I have 15 in the project I'm working on right now for my job. And you, I mean, you can do whatever you want with them. They're very customizable, but I'm not gonna do that yet. So if I was to clear that. Now, in my test stack, the one I just created, if I wanted to you know, create some infrastructure, right? Const, uh, I'll do you know, a new S3 bucket. And then I would do, you know, so sorry about that. I just had to write that out for a second. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm creating an S3 bucket in the test stack. Now, if I go back to my main stack, I still have that S3 bucket here. These may look like they're the same bucket, but AWS will actually hash them out to be different buckets. So if I'm going to, you know, avoid that confusion, I can do, you know, test bucket new, right? 
So as you see here, one of the huge, one of the big capabilities of the CDK is to parse out infrastructure based on your various solutions. So if I was to deploy these two stacks, they would deploy separately in separate memory. They would both deploy these buckets, right? So if I was to do, you know, CDK list, and I was to deploy this new stack here, let's do the test stack. This might take a second. All right, awesome, sorry that it took a minute, but now that we're back here, we can see that we just deployed from the test stack a bucket that has the stack in the beginning, test stack as you see there. Let me zoom in on that. And then the bucket itself is right here. So we deploy from the test stack called the test bucket. Now, if we were to deploy you know, the new bucket from the CDK project stack, we do the same exact thing here. So if I do another CDK list, and I just do this so it's you know very simple to copy and paste the actual stacks themselves. So if I was to copy the CDK project stack, which is again a different stack or a different piece of memory, I can then do the same deployment of this bucket, the test bucket new, with the CDK project stack. And that one deployed a little quicker because the CDK project stack has been deployed before. So if I look here, I should be able to see Oops, sorry, I actually have to change the um, name of it right here, sorry. Okay, now that should deploy as new. That's actually a good example of how the CDK internalizes memory. It does it exactly like a programming language would. So see how it deployed very quickly when I had this existing bucket? It's because the CDK stack or that specific stack has the memory of that bucket being deployed already. So it doesn't see it as a new bucket, therefore it won't over deploy it or it won't um, overwrite it. So it'll know that this bucket's already deployed, therefore it doesn't have to deploy it, which is also a really good use case for, you know, things like DevOps if you're doing account baselines and, you know, general things that you want in your accounts in every single account. You're not gonna be over deploying your resources or rewriting them. You're just only gonna be deploying the new ones in the actual stack. And that really speaks to you know, the power of the CDK and the actual memory of the stacks. So if I was to look in this new, um, yep, so we have it right here. So this was deployed on January 4th, which is today, and you'll see the same exact schema here. So again, we have the stack name, the CDK project stack. We have the name of the bucket, test bucket new. And here's the actual hash numbers that AWS gives it. So if there's, you know, the same friendly name on a couple different buckets, you'll be able to differentiate them based on the numbers at the end. All right, so now that we know how to you know, parse out our stacks and deploy them separately, I think that really gives you guys good context for the next couple of videos that I'm gonna be pumping out. Gives you, you know, a good overview of the ways that you can leverage the CDK and how powerful it is, and I really hope to build on that in the next couple of videos. I appreciate you guys watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you on the Discord. Take care.